happen to hear the new song by Pusha T and Jay-Z, Drug Dealers Anonymous. And as I listened to the song and got to thinking, I have to admit it touched a soft spot in my own heart. I myself have been a slave of drug addiction and I myself have seen the effects of drug addiction upon others. And now, as a Christian, as a minister, I would like to confess that there is no, no such thing, thing as an anonymous, anonymous drug, dealer. drug dealer. No, there is not a such thing as an anonymous drug dealer. Think about the most famous drug dealers that you've heard of. Nicky Barnes, Pablo Escobar, Frank Lucas, Bumpy Johnson, Big Meech, Freeway Rick Ross, El Chapo. These men were not anonymous. They were well known. And even if someone gets away with drug dealing, even if someone escapes the law, there is a God who sees and who knows all things. And no drug dealer will be anonymous to the omniscient, to the omnipotent, to the omnipresent God. The word of God says that those who do evil, do evil in the dark. For the word of God says that Jesus is the light who exposes the darkness so that all evil deeds might be reproved. I speak to you who are drug dealers, and I speak to you who glorify the drug dealing life, and I speak to you who enjoy the music of drug dealing. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen a man's heart explode? No, seriously. Have you ever seen a man's heart explode? By ingesting the drug, the heroin, the cocaine, or whatever that drug is, have you ever seen or experienced a man's heart explode? Let me ask you another question. Have you ever held a crack baby in your arms? Hmm. Have you ever raised a crack baby and from the very moment it is born, it has a feeling and a longing for the drug that the drug dealer supplies? Do you think that this type of action will be anonymous before a good and holy God? The answer is no. There is no such thing as an anonymous drug dealer. My dear friends, this is very serious. The Word of God declares that all those whose names are not written in the book of life shall be cast into everlasting fire. I am not here to frighten you. I'm here to tell you that God knows the sin. I'm here to tell you that God knows the evil. I'm here to tell you that God knows every single act that all of us have done. But the good news is this, that there is one who has come into the world who has taken the very drugs that drug dealers have dealt in his own veins. It was the Lord Jesus Christ who suffered the consequence of every ounce of crack you sold. It was the Lord Jesus Christ who suffered the consequence for every ounce of marijuana you have sold. It was the Lord Jesus Christ who suffered every pack of heroin that you have sold. How? Because on that cross, all the sin, all the evil, all the unrighteousness, all the filth, all the uncleanliness of the world was dealt upon him. And for those of you who are drug dealers, it was as if you were putting heroin in the veins of Christ and putting him to death. But Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, who is greater than sin, Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, who is greater than a drug. Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, who is greater than any type of chemical a man can create, not only died because of that sin, but by the power of God, he rose again. And so those who are drug dealers and those who suffer by sin and those who are addicted to sin can now look to him and experience forgiveness and new life. And their names will be known not for the drugs that they deal, but for the God who they believe in.